Hello, welcome back. Pump Vincent here. Uh, I got a little injury here. I fell on my side. Something's ridiculous. My shoes got caught. There's like the, the way the, the laces are, are like the things to put the shoelace in. It, they're like little hooks and they got like stuck with the lace and the hook. And my shoes got stuck with each other like this and I couldn't move and I just fell. Like on the side, couldn't brace myself. Anyway, so I, I uh, bruised the tendon, I think. Super annoying. I'll have that for a couple weeks maybe. Anyway, so, and I am on my way to Costa Rica. Another big news for me, I'm uh, driving again with my two dogs. It'll be like the eighth time for Happy. First time for Raw. And uh, yeah, I made a nice bed and it's gonna be nice and comfy for them. Big drive, I'm starting from Texas. I'm in Texas. I'm in Midland, Texas, where George W. Bush grew up. Yeah, all oil here, seriously. Like I could make a video on just that. It's crazy, it's just oil batteries, they call them the pumps that just, you know, get the oil out just everywhere, everywhere. Quite impressive, I've never seen this. So anyway, that's for the updates, but um, I wanna help you out with uh, some uh, debunking of raw veganism. Uh, I wanna give one disclaimer, <laughs> just one. And I'll give you other ones that are not really disclaimers because I don't believe they're actually bad things about this diet. But uh, I'll give you maybe two bad disclaimers that I have to warn you about if you wanna go on this diet. Uh, or if you are on this diet and you're starting to realize the issues, well, there are solutions, and that's mostly the video is all. I mean, that's what the video is all about. So, first thing that people are worried about is the quality. Like, if you're in the winter, if it's the winter and you're in the in the city or in the countryside, uh, it's not that hard. Like, seriously, you can always find grapes. Like, the grapes are delicious. Okay, grapes, organic grapes, there's nothing wrong with that. It's so amazing. And it's really hard to find bad quality grapes, in my opinion. Usually, it's, I just hit like like gold when I find grapes. It's a bit expensive though, I gotta say. So if, if you're on a budget, that might not be the ideal fruit. But otherwise, there's melons, cantaloupes, and the trick is to let them ripe, uh, ripen. You know, you buy your cantaloupes and you let them ripen like five days seven days it's, it's really worth it and then uh you got your bananas of course if you don't have the good quality i don't know chiquita is a good brand in my opinion and then you want to maybe get your dates you know a bit expensive but just by you know eat a pound or two a day uh, it's a very good trick to carve up and if it's that hard and you cannot find quality fruits just go keto raw vegan keto eat fats let the salads and sprouts and and like good quality nuts you know they're not the ones that are not like super boiled super cooked roasted whatever so you get the good quality nuts and you'll be fine it's just it's fun diet actually you make a lot of dips and you slice your carrots and just eat you know like it's amazing it's fun and uh wait up i got another dog coming happy be cool i'm in a dog park <laughs> And uh, here's here's the pooches. You wanna... Hey boys. Hey Rob. Hey boy. Anyway, a little bit of tension there. Anyway, all good. So anyway, back to the topic. So yeah, for quality wise, uh, if you can get you know amazing quality fruits, you can always go keto. And another trick too is, I've said this in my other videos, uh, you can simply go to these whole food sellers, the ones that supply uh, the grocery stores. They're open like 10 p.m. until like six in the morning. Okay, those are tricky, it's a tricky thing. I have, I have a beautiful video about this. Uh, but yeah, that's the way to get good quality organic for dang cheap. It's gonna change everything, get abundance. Anyway, another myth that people have uh, is that you have to poop all the time. <laughs> I don't know if you heard about this. This might be news for you, but you're supposed to get a bowel movement for each meal. Yeah, each meal, like a, like all animals, they eat, they have a bowel movement. 
And if you're raw vegan, well, guess what? It's gonna be clean and it's gonna be such smooth digestion. It's just a whole different experience. It's like really pleasurable. <laughs> I like to go to the toilet and it's three times a day and it feels amazing and it's clean. I have to add that, it's very, very clean. You don't have that like gluten stuff inside you or like fermented stuff or just uh, just sticky stuff, you know, and then no mucus in this diet, you know, the mucusless diet. So that's a great myth, you know, <laughs> great myth, but it's fine. Um, so another one, um, I would say this one is a bit true. I, I, I do empathize with uh, all the raw vegans out there who struggle socially. That is a massive one. Uh, there are ways to go around it. I made a lot of videos about that and I'll repeat it again and again. It doesn't have to be hard, all right? The first thing I tell people is find empathy in people and in yourself. When people are trying to help you, you know, giving you advice or telling you what to do or telling you what you're doing is wrong and, you know, suddenly as soon as you say you're doing health changes or food changes, you know, changing your habits for food, people all suddenly become a health expert, you know, and, and you know way better. <laughs> and it's just, you can, it can become easily an argument, you know, unpleasant. So my argument is don't go into debates, just find empathy in yourself and, and you see that they're just trying to help. Okay, they're just, they, 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 they care for you, you know, they want to, you know, they're, they're worried for you, you know, and if they're just being dicks who just want to be right and want to be righteous and, you know, like whatever, then uh, just, just, you know, just see them as a child, you know, he hasn't learned humility and open-mindedness yet and uh, just a thing they haven't learned yet like children you know we're all children just, we've learned some stuff and we haven't learned others and sometimes it appears you know it's pretty clear sometimes it's not <laughs> so see them as children or see that they're just trying to care and then find empathy in them for yourself and the way to do that is simply by kind of bullshitting your way around you say that your doctor asked you to do this because your health is really bad. Maybe it's true actually, but your doctor is always your body. I don't know if you've seen my other videos, but I, I, I do say that a lot. Your body is your doctor. It's your God. It's your higher self, you know? So if you want to face those people that are, you know, very kind of shut down from you and they're just giving you advices all the time, telling you what to do, well, maybe you can just tell them, hey, please, I need help with this. My doctor is telling me I have to do this. I have to make these changes. It's really important for me, you know, and go from the heart, go from your needs, you know, say you feel, you know, a bit scared about your health, you know, you're worried about this, you know, and, and you wanna, you know, do the right thing. And you think this is really the good thing and your doctor told you to do that. And the doctor is like a God for most people, right? So, so that's kind of like BSing your, round, your way around, but, I think it's worth it. They're totally worth it. And then people will want to help you. Straight up, they'll want to help you. You know, they'll be like eating cooked food and be like, oh damn, she's coming or he's coming, you know? So they'll like hide their food around. They won't be like inviting you to like restaurants, stuff like that. They'll understand when you walk away from the dining table, from the uh, dinner table, you know, when it's time to eat dinner, they they'll understand that it, everything you're doing and that you need support. And that's something you can ask. Anyway, so that's one thing I can advise you again and again with, and it's just really, really important one to grasp and to use. It's like, you can make it like a, like a full-on exercise. You write down, today I will be, you know, giving empathy or receiving empathy, you know, or trying to receive empathy. So anyway, so that's one myth uh, that is not so much a myth. It's, it's hard, but it doesn't have to be hard. And you can do, you can always do like me, hey, you can move to a, a fully supportive environment, a raw vegan eco village, you know, like me in Costa Rica or in Canada or USA. When I go work, you know, most people around me are either fully raw vegan or they're like, they're usually are like they, they've seen the light, you know, and they understand supportive environment. So they, they, they don't, you know, just don't care when you're around They try to be supportive. So I have that luxury, I'm very thankful. I mean, I, I made my own luck, you can say, so I, I'm not really lucky. I made my own luck. 
So anyway, I, I hope you create your own luck and maybe join a Frederian, you know, raw vegan eco village one day. And, uh, but uh, if you have a lot of attachment at home, then stay home and make, make home a better place. This is always a good idea. But anyway, so that's, that's, for, that's for me. <laughs> so last thing I want to say, I guess, because I can go on forever. There's so many myths that are not really true. Some are true, like the social pressure and all. Uh, the last one is my, my, the one that really bothers me. The one thing that bothers me, because there's, there's not many things in the raw vegan diet that bothers me because I have the luxurious environment, the supportive environment, <laughs> luxurious environment. And I mean, I don't have cravings anymore because I have good quality foods. I eat enough. I, I follow all the little tricks I've been giving you on YouTube. So what's my main reason, what, my main problem you know, on this diet? Well, it might surprise you, but it's pissing all the time. <laughs> I piss a lot. I mean, depending on what I eat. If I eat mostly bananas, you know, which I usually do. I eat 15 bananas a day, I try, or 20, you know. And still, I piss a lot. I eat a lot of grapes in the morning, or cantaloupe, or whatever, melons. I like juicy fruits. It's really important to eat juicy fruits. Superior than bananas, much better. So anyway, I piss a lot. Man, that kind of annoys me. <laughs> That's it. I'm so happy with this diet. I'm free and happy. Like, I don't feel cravings. I feel light. I don't have digestive issues. My, my, my body's getting healthier and healthier. My skin is getting better. I've noticed it, seriously. Um, I don't feel like I'm aging as fast because I've been gaining a lot of white hair suddenly. And I'm like, holy cow. I think it's a zinc deficiency, actually. And I've been supplementing with zinc now. Yeah, because we, we eat too much copper. Cal copper cancels the effect of zinc so anyway whatever so uh yeah that's what i have for you today and i hope it's kind of helpful i mean it is helpful right <laughs> so tell me in the comments what you like about this and uh don't forget please like and subscribe i really appreciate when you do and um yeah i'll see you on the next video bye bye